In this example, we want to find out what is the RNA transcript of this DNA strand here. So what does the RNA molecule look like? And we also want to know what the percentage of pyramid bases in this RNA molecule might look like. So here I've written out the sequence of the DNA, that's our DNA strand, and I've also included the complement sequence here. And I hope I have done it right. Yes, it looks right. So what would happen in the DNA uh, molecule when it is replicated? So when there is the transcription, the two strands will separate and this strand here, the complement strand, will be actually used by the RNA polymerase and the nucleotides will be attached. And we must not forget that in RNA, a thymine residue is substituted by a uracil residue. So how do we write this transcript, this RNA transcript? So we've got five prime end here. We've got an A. Then we've got a U, we've got a G, we've got two A's. Now we have got an A here, which we would usually replace with a T, but we've got a U here, we've got G, A, U again, we have G, C, A. Careful, we've got a uracil again. We've got C, A, U, G. We've got three uracils. U, U. We've got A, A. G, C, and that now would be our three prime end, and that would be the RNA molecule. And what we see is that it is pretty much almost exactly the same as our initial sequence, and the only thing that we would have needed to do was to replace any T in this original sequence with a U. Now to the second part of the question, what is the percentage of pyrimidine bases in the RNA molecule? We know that pyrimidines, that would be a uracil and cytosine. So all we need to do is we uh, need to calculate the number of U's and C's and we also need to calculate the total number of bases. So the total number of bases is 1, 2, 3, 4, I think it is 24. And the number of U's and C, we've got one here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've got 11 pyrimidine bases and for the percentage, percentage of pyrimidine, we would have 11 divided by 24. And if we put that in a calculator, it would be 48.5% pyr pyrimidine bases. So I hope this makes sense. And thank you very much for watching.